Hello, I wanted to present to you the information I found for you on Brunswick, South Africa and your vacation to the French Corner. So first of all, the property I chose for you is Rubicon Cottage. I chose Rubicon Cottage because it's located away from the road on Cabrew Street, so it's a little remote in this such a small town, um, which makes for a quiet and peaceful stay. It's two bedrooms, two bathrooms, and sleeps four. The bathrooms are both in suite. It is only 49 minutes away from Cape Town International Airport. Cape Town International Airport also provides a rental car service to get you to and from Franchwick. You can also rent the car for the whole stay, which would probably be more convenient because public transportation is very choppy and does not go everywhere you would probably want to go in Franchwick. For a 30-night rental in the Rubicon Cottage, it costs $4,680, US dollars, which is 69,887.95 rands, which is South Africa's currency. Rubicon Cottage has a fully equipped kitchen, which means they have a stove, a oven, a microwave, and also a dishwasher. Utensils are provided. Along with that, you have a dining area that seats 10. Because you're going to be in Brunswick, South Africa for at least a month, you may want to fly out some family to be spending quality time, and this would definitely give you the area to host a big dinner. There is also a sofa bed that folds out that can sleep two extra, so you can make this cottage sleep six. The Rubicon Cottage also includes a washer and dryer, iron and ironing board, and complimentary linens. There is secure parking for two vehicles on the side of the rental. It also has a private yard that is fenced, a fully furnished patio, and a heated pool. So enough about the cottage. There are plenty of amenities in Franchwick, South Africa. Unfortunately, there is only one grocery store that is local. Um, it is such a small town, it is 1.274 square miles. So Franchwick does really not need more than one local grocery store. But they do have four major banks that exchange currency, one being First National Bank that we have here in the U.S. They have a Franchwick branch. Most stores are locally owned um, and offer unique shopping experiences. They have everything from antiques to fine jewelry in Franchwick, so I'm sure you can find anything for any person in your party. There are physical and educational recreation available. The physical recreation includes hiking, biking, cricket, and even horseback riding. The educational recreation includes tours, museums, wine tasting classes, and also cooking classes. Franchwick has four South African five-star chefs. So there are plenty of classes you can look into taking for wine pairing and um, tours of wineries and things of that sort. So getting to know Franswick, Franswick is so small. It is 1.274 square miles. So your best option for transportation, honestly, is to either go by foot or take a rental car. The reason for that is public transportation is really choppy, as I said before. It does not go everywhere you want to go. And if you were want to traveling outside and go to a few cities, some of the vineyards that are local are located in other cities and do not have transportation to their area. So you might want to take a rental car. The best time to visit is September through April. These are the warmest months. Um, despite our winter, it's warm there. You can get away from the cool weather in Mississippi and travel out to Franchwick, South Africa. Do not bring valuable items. If you do bring valuable items, it is suggested that you buy renter's insurance while you're there. Franchwick does have a high crime rate when it comes to robberies, armed robberies, carjackings, and things of that sort. So just remember to stay safe. Do not travel alone. Don't drink and walk around at night. Um, just be hyper aware of your surroundings while there and having expensive items on your person. The standard electrical voltage is 230 volts AC, so you will need a C adapter. That's the common adapter used in South Africa to convert everything for your electrical appliances and chargers and things of that nature. Afrikaans and English are spoken in Franchwick, South Africa. English is spoken usually in the stores and tourist areas, but it is only the usually the fifth language used for most locals, so locals may not be able to speak to you um, fluently. 
South African Standard Time is seven hours ahead of Central Standard Time, and it does not acknowledge Daylight Savings Time. So when you're in Frederick, South Africa, be mindful of what time it is here in the U.S. If it is 10 a.m. there, it's 3 a.m. here, and calling your family members may be a little disruptive. The culture there is very diverse, including the customs, so it is hard to pinpoint some natural greetings and stuff like that. They have many different cultures blended into one, so it really depends on the area that you are in. But some of the common ones are the handshake is usually a greeting between locals and foreigners. Also, do not go up to a woman and shake her hand unless she extends her hand first. Um, that's just a sign of respect, and she may not want to touch your hand. She may just give you a head nod. Attractions are offered, such as tours, museums, and tastings. I mentioned that earlier. More information is on that in my report. One American dollar equals 14.69 rands, which is South Africa's currency. So there is a big dollar difference between our currency and French Africa. Brandwick's currency. The American Embassy Consulate is located in Cape Town at 2 Redham Avenue, Westlake 7945. The hours are Monday through Thursday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. and Friday, 8 a.m. to noon. The telephone number is 2721-702-7300 and they can also be looked up online at HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash za dot us embassy dot gov um, and you will be able to find the consulate from there. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to research this and give you the information you needed. If there are any more questions that I can help you with, please contact me at my email 